Happy Saturday, Connecticut. Welcome to Your Purpose and Business TV, where each week we will share tips and strategies for entrepreneurs. That's right, Raquel. And our first guest is sharing how she leveraged the power of networking to grow her cleaning business, the maid experience. Please help me welcome her to the show. Hi, ladies. Hey, Shanisha. Hey, hey. <laughs> Hi, Shanisha. Welcome to the show. It's great to have you with us. You have scaled your business with securing by securing large contracts with other businesses and institutions like student housing. How were you able to scale your services and what resources help you to keep up with your business? When I opened the cleaning business, I had already had previous experience in higher education. I had uh, worked at a university and I've also, when I was in college, I was very active on campus. So it was a natural transition into student housing. I already had a lot of the background and I also live in a college town. So I utilized a lot of the uh, my previous knowledge to be able to leverage into the student housing industry. Um, then I also started connecting with a lot of different business resources that's in the area and networking and being able to meet people and tell them about my business. So it was very powerful to make those connections to help me with my business as well. Wow, that's that's amazing, Shanisha. And um, you've touched on this, but you have been able to scale your business and you you didn't do it alone, right? So I want you to talk about that because you did speak about networking. So, so how did you leverage the power of networking to grow your business? And do you have any tips for networking to share with our viewers? Yes. So I believe that uh, business is transactional. It's a relationship. So it's more about building those relationships. And that's exactly what networking is. The one tip that I would tell people is to not be scared. And I would just tell them to get out there and see what type of resources that are local to you, because there's a lot of entrepreneurship programs that are local, a lot of things on Meetup or Facebook um, events, and just go out there and meet people. Tanisha, these are such great tips. Now, what would you say sets you apart from other cleaning companies? I think what sets us apart from other cleaning companies is my background as a user experience designer. So what I do is I make sure that not only do my clients have a great experience, but also my cleaners and everyone that we have contact with. So we're really very meticulous about providing great experiences to other people. Uh, we also have a, a charity arm where we provide, you know, free or, or reduced cost services to people in need, such as cancer patients or families who are leaving the NICU with sick babies because, you know, they have a lot of stuff on their plate and cleaning the house and things is like one less thing that they would have to worry about. We're heavily tech enabled. So we offer online booking and real time availability. So there's no type of surprise charges that the clients would have. We're very environmental um, conscious. So we prioritize the use of green cleaning products. This is so good, Shanisha. And there may be someone listening from home thinking, I'm good at cleaning too. So what tips do you have for them? And how do you get started with this type of business? Yes, I would tell them that cleaning other people's homes is totally different than cleaning your own home. And then also, if you like cleaning uh, like that and you're very, very detail oriented, you might be slow which can in turn cost the client money. So it's about efficiency and speed. To get into the business, I would say for them to, you know, look out for mentors who are in the industry who can help uh, shorten your learning curve. I particularly do not have a cleaning academy, but I do have a program for local service business owners who are looking to get into student housing. Thank you so much for being with us today. But before you go, how can our Connecticut farm connect with you and book your services? Yes, um, you can connect with me at Hey Shanisha on Instagram and 
Facebook, I believe. And um, if you are looking to book services, uh, you can reach out to me at the madeexperience.com or you can send an email to info at the madeexperience.com. We are preparing to go nationwide. So we will be coming to a city near you. That is very good, Shanisha. We will take a quick break and be right back.